Okay, let's keep going. Next page. Let's have a look at, back at our condition over here. Is our load greater than 25% of the T-cracking load? T star equals 10 kilonewton meters and 0 0.25 times phi T critical or T cracking, sorry, equals 0 0.25 times 0.75 times 25.3 and that equals, I think we're not going to do well here. Two five times that, 0.75, that equals 4.75 kilonewton meters. Okay, now that, almost put a clause reference in, that is clause 8.2.1.2. 8.2.1.2. All right, because <coughs> our load is greater than our cracking torsional load, we have to consider the effects of torsion. So then we come down to here, and what we're going to do is combine torsion and shear together to get an equivalent shear load. All right, so here's how we do that. We go to clause 8.2.1.2, and we go to our V star equivalent. Oops, EQ equals, and it's this fairly ugly equation here, V star squared, got the whole square root of that, plus open bracket, 0 0.9 times T times UH over, to a zero. All right, let's find out what each one of those things are. Okay, so our V star, that's our load. We know that is 200 kilonewtons. That's our shear load, and we're gonna add a little bit to that to torsion. We know that our T star equals 10. Our U, UH is what? UH, here it is. It's the perimeter at the center line of the closed traverse, or transverse torsion reinforcement. What that's saying is basically it's the perimeter of that bar. All right, let's work out that. The perimeter of the bar, it's 300 minus the cover minus the cover, and it's 450 minus the cover minus the cover. So that'll be 300 minus 30 minus 30 plus 450 minus 30 minus 30. And then that's two sides, so we're gonna go all that times two. And so that is 300 minus 30 minus 30 is 240. Plus, and that's 450 minus 60 is 390. 390 plus 240 times 2 is 1260 millimeters. Now actually you could probably argue that you should actually go to the centroid of that bar, in which case you take 5 millimeters off, but it's not going to make a huge difference here. So we'll just run with that. So that's our UH, our AO. AO equals Ah, here we go. The area enclosed by the shear flow path, including any of the holes therein. Again, AO. Uh, just let me find that. AO is again the area of our thing, which is 135 thousand square millimeters. 